Hey, what's up? It's Nicola Milan. I'm a musician and an illustrator, and today I'm going to share with you my top five daily healthy habits for creatives. Now, these habits are designed to help you improve your productivity and to stay motivated on a daily basis. These are just things that I've noticed really help me to stay as creative as possible. So I hope that by sharing them, they help you too. Daily healthy habit number one is don't lose focus. Now this comes in two parts. So part one of this uh, is to work out what your goal is and to stick it up on your fridge and to watch it, like to look at it and read it every single day. That's the habit. I'll tell you why this helps you to not lose focus. It's because as creatives, it is so easy to become really discouraged when you put your heart and your soul into a piece of content or a new music video, whatever it might be, you put it out into the world and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> it, it, it hurts and you, you can take it really personally. Um, and so it's very easy to be discouraged and to lose focus and think, you know, I put so much effort in, no one cares, why should I even bother? And then you kind of move on to something else and you do lose focus of what the big picture is. So by having that up on the kitchen fridge really does bring you back to the why. Daily healthy habit number two is part two of don't lose focus. So this is where it comes down to having too many ideas. And I know you know what I'm talking about, like as creatives, our minds are like breeding ground for ideas and then you have so much inspiration going on you've got like you see another artist doing something you're like oh my god i could do that like way better and like you see how successful they are at doing that thing and i think i could do that thing so you kind of lose focus and you start veering off course or you know you um yeah you just have way way too many ideas uh so the best way to not lose focus with this is to use a handy little tool that I love called Evernote. It's like the to-do list paradise for to-do list lovers uh, because you can, it's all free. I'll leave a link to it below. You can create notebooks. Uh, so I have one for my music, one for my art and one for my tutorials. And then within the notebooks, you can create lots of notes. So for my music one, I've got lyric ideas and I just like dump all my lyric ideas in there so I don't ever forget them and get distracted. Um, and then I dump, you know, future song ideas. I dump like ideas for music videos and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I just, it means that I can stay focused with what I'm doing according to the grand goal that sits on my fridge without getting, hello fly without getting distracted by all of the other little cool ideas that kind of keep interrupting your subconscious. Habit number three is to do the hard stuff first. Do the practice first. So uh, if you are trying to improve your singing, this means before you just start singing for fun, and that's very easy to do, spend the first five to 10 minutes, that's all it has to be, is working on your intonation, like sing bark and make sure you nail all the notes or practice, you know, your blue scale on piano or spend five minutes just drawing eye shapes or something like that, whatever it is that you actually need to work on. Then you've got the practice bit out of the way and then you won't have to worry about, um, you know, it'll be easy for you to do the other stuff because no one has to sit down and tell us to draw or paint or whatever because we're going to do that naturally. But you will improve if you do the practice first. Habit number four, and this is actually probably one of the most important habits, is to not try to create too many habits at once. <laughs> we're creative people. Like, we have the tendency to overload on everything and overdo it. You know, we're a little obsessive like that. You know, we're like, oh yes, oh great. I'm gonna form like all of these amazing habits at all at once and change my life. And then it's too hard and you don't do anything. <laughs> so, and this goes for your whole life. So if you are trying to improve your piano playing, right? And you're like, okay, I love that habit number three. I'm just gonna spend 10 minutes doing the practice first before I sit down and like mindlessly songwrite on the piano. If you're trying to do that and form that as a habit, but in your other personal life, 
you're trying to create new habits of jogging or like eating less sugar or something um, and then you're trying to also create a new habit of going to bed at a certain time like you got a lot of stuff going on there and it's gonna become too hard so just pick one and do one because you, you're probably like oh but that means I'm gonna slow my productivity down well you won't because if you try and do all three you won't get any of them because it's too hard so just pick one master that one habit then move on to another one and you will see the results and fifth habit and final habit my friends is to keep the balance this is huge for creators huge i mean how many times have you hold yourself away at home because you know hey we enjoy our own company and we have plenty of things to do but what happens is that if you do that too much and you become like too insulated and to cut off from the external world, you're actually doing yourself a disservice because you're also cutting yourself off from inspiration. And I don't know if you felt it throughout this whole COVID crap, but not being able to go to art galleries, not being able to go and see friends do shows, not being able to gig myself, not being, you know, being out there in the community has actually taken a toll on my inspiration level. I mean, yes, I'm getting it online quite a bit because everybody's online, but that, nothing can replace that in-person experience like online does not replace it so yeah get out there maintain the balance and that includes exercising and eating healthily as well because again you know it's very easy to to just drink four or five coffees in the morning when you're doing your art because damn you love coffee and it just helps you do the art <laughs> You know, it's balance. It's all about balance. Then you won't feel like shit after having way too many coffees. And you won't be able to, and then you'll be able to sleep that night. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll be able to get up the next day at a reasonable hour. Because you don't have like so much caffeine running through your system. Mm. About moderation and balance. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my five healthy daily habits for artists. Uh, if you did, please leave me a comment below. If you've got another habit that you feel that the community here really needs to know, share it with us down in the comments. Um, I will leave a link to where you can check out my singing tutorial channel if you are interested in singing and learning how to sing. I specialize in jazz and blues. Um, otherwise, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Look at his gorgeousness factor. He's just had a bath and is yet to have a groom, which is why he's like super crimpy, like reggae right now.